Hey peeps, what's up Manchi here, back with another video and in this video I'll give you some awesome tips and tricks to improve the battery life and increase the battery longevity on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series. All these tips and tricks are applicable to all the three devices which include the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus and the Samsung Galaxy S23. So without any further delay, let us get down to business. The first pro tip to improve the battery life on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series is to disable always on display. So you can go into settings, lock screen, go into always on display and either you can use tap to show or you can say show as scheduled so that always on display is not enabled while you are sleeping or you can say show for new notifications using show always is going to drain some battery and even though you have an amoled panel on your samsung galaxy s23 series always on display does use some battery the next pro tip i have for you to save some battery life on your samsung galaxy s23 series is to turn off your wi-fi bluetooth nfc and or location whenever you are not using them so as soon as i step out of my house i know it's going to scan for wi-fi networks if wi-fi is enabled so i disable wi-fi similarly not using my wireless headphones disable bluetooth not using it for payment disable nfc and the same thing applies for location now this might be a minor inconvenience but i think it's well worth saving the battery life on your samsung galaxy s23 series next up let us go into settings then we can go into connections here in scroll down and go into more connection settings and make sure that nearby device scanning this toggle is turned off as i said earlier we do not want our wi-fi to be scanning for devices or networks when we are not connected to our home network and similarly if you go into your specific wi-fi settings and then tap on the three dot menu on the top right go into advanced settings you can also disable this network notification toggle in case you want to then the next thing we can do is we can go into settings and then you can go into display and here and make sure that you are using dark mode because this is an amoled panel once you enable dark mode your battery backup is going to increase and of course you can set a schedule for your dark mode in case you want to then make sure you are using adaptive brightness i have this disabled because i'm recording a video but i do recommend that you use adaptive brightness and an important thing to note with adaptive brightness is that during the first few days you might have to adjust the brightness to your liking because the phone is learning your behavior but after a week or 10 days it should learn your behavior it should remember the brightness settings in different settings and that is when adaptive brightness comes in handy then extra brightness make sure this is disabled because remember it says over here increase the maximum brightness but this also uses more battery i have this enabled again because i'm recording a video then the other thing you can do is if you're not using 120 hertz right then you can switch over to standard and select apply now do not standard is going to set the maximum refresh rate to 60 hertz but it is also going to save you some battery another important setting over here in the display settings is screen timeout make sure you set it to 15 seconds 30 seconds or a minute you do not want your display to be left on for two minutes five minutes or ten minutes next thing you can do to save battery is if you send a lot of messages from your phone a lot of emails you use the keyboard a lot well in that case you can go into settings sound and vibration system sound and you can disable the sound for touch interactions and dialing keypad similarly if you scroll down over here you have system vibration and you can also disable the system vibration for touch interactions and dialing keypad thereby saving you some more battery on your samsung galaxy s23 series another pro tip to save some battery on the samsung galaxy s23 series is to change the performance profile if you're not using your device for gaming if you're using it for like watching youtube videos instagram your social medias then go into settings battery and device care tap on the battery scroll down go into more battery settings and then go into performance profile right now it is set as standard if you set it to light then this is going to prioritize battery life and cooling efficiency over 
processing speed now for your social media youtube videos you do not need the highest top end processing speed so setting the performance profile to light is definitely going to improve the battery performance and the battery life on your samsung galaxy s23 series then we can talk about video brightness so if you go into settings advanced features scroll down video brightness right now it is set as normal now this is the best option which you can set however if you want bright videos and you have enabled your bright videos or your bright display remember that the more bright the display the more battery it is going to drain so if you specifically need your display to be bright for certain applications you can control that on a per app basis using the toggles over here but normal works absolutely fine and is the best for saving some battery on the samsung galaxy s23 series next up is the toggle for auto optimization so from time to time you know your android device gets slow and you have to reboot it because something in the background is hogging up all the resources however samsung has a feature which will do all of this on its own so if you go into settings then you go into battery and device care go into auto optimization enable this toggle of restart when needed so as it says restart your phone automatically to keep it in the best condition automatic restarts will only happen when you're not using your phone so this is a nifty feature to increase the battery life on your samsung galaxy s23 series the next setting we are going to enable is going to put unused apps to sleep so if you have a bunch of applications on your samsung galaxy s23 series and you forget to uninstall them they are running in the background draining battery well go into settings go into battery and device care tap on battery go into background usage limits and make sure that this toggle of put unused apps to sleep is enabled next up if you follow tech you know that 5g does result in draining battery and the data speeds are not really worth it so another pro tip to save some battery would be to disable 5g how do you do that you go into settings then you go into connections here and you go into mobile networks and say network mode it is set to 5g lte 3g slash 2g choose the second option over here which is lte slash 3g slash 2g and check your data speeds if they are comparable almost the same then i think it is better to use 4g lte as compared to 5g next up hidden in developer options is a toggle which says keep mobile data always active even if you're connected to the wi-fi which in my humble opinion is not worth it so first of all we need to enable developer options you will go into settings then you will go into about phone once you're in about phone you will go into software information and here and tap on the build number a few times and when you get this screen of your pen you do need to enter it if you do not have a pen setup then you will be enabling developer options right away and there it is we have a toast notification that developer options are now enabled now where do you find developer options you need to go into settings scroll all the way down below about phone you will see developer options and herein scroll and look for the option which says mobile data always active if this is enabled go ahead and disable this next up if you are in a pinch and you are not going to be near a charger you can always enable power saving mode so for that you have to go into settings battery and device care tap on the battery and here it is power saving if you tap on this it is going to tell you what all things it is going to do and you can configure these as well so if you do not want your cpu speed to be limited to 70 percent you can disable this toggle similarly if you do not want your brightness to be decreased by 10 percent you can disable this toggle but here is the master toggle to enable power saving and you should also have a quick setting tile to enable or disable power saving if you do not have it enabled go ahead and add it to your active quick setting tiles next up while we're talking about power saving you can actually create a routine wherein this feature can be automated so you go into settings then you go into modes and routines make sure you are in the routines option on the bottom tap on this plus sign herein if is the condition so add the trigger and herein we can search for battery level so scroll down and look for the battery level option and let us say below and choose whatever number you are comfortable with in my case let us say we can choose if battery level is below 25 percent and we say done then what do you need to do so 
tap on the plus sign below then and it automatically pulled up power saving so select this and say on and select done and tap on save and you can give it whatever name you want to select done and there it is we have successfully added a routine for battery level and as soon as battery level falls below 25 percent then power saving is going to be enabled now another routine which i recommend you create is to increase the battery longevity of your samsung galaxy s23 series so we will go back into settings modes and routines make sure you add in routines tap on the plus sign in the if trigger we are going to add and we are going to say time period choose the time for the night so let us say it starts at 8 pm and ends at 7 am and we are going to say done over here and you can also select the days so we say all the days all of them are highlighted and circled we select done and what do you want to do then so you tap on plus and here then you can search for fast you will get fast charging and we say off and we select done then you select save and say done one more time so whenever your time period kicks in and you are sleeping putting your phone on charging let it charge normally do not want it to charge fast because fast charging does decrease the battery longevity of the battery itself so this is another awesome routine which you can create and while we're talking about increasing the battery longevity another option which you can enable can be found in settings and go into battery and device care tap on the battery scroll down more battery settings enable this toggle of protect battery so here in the maximum charge your battery will get is 85 percent because if you do not already know about it please read about the 2080 battery charging rule for lithium ion batteries this is definitely going to increase the battery longevity on your samsung galaxy s23 series and the last pro tip on increasing the battery life on your samsung galaxy s23 series is to monitor for any rogue apps so go into settings battery and device care tap on battery and here in it should show you the app usage so here it is these are the different apps which are using the battery if you find any rogue application something like facebook or facebook messenger pinging for location on top of the list and you're not using it that much well you found your culprit which is draining the battery so go ahead and uninstall it or revoke the permissions as needed and all these tips and tricks which i just told you should definitely help increase the battery life and the battery longevity on your samsung galaxy s23 series if you do have any tips and tricks which i missed make sure to mention them in the comments on this video